Tesla battery day expectations. In this video, I'm going to talk about Terra factories and Fremont's battery cell production line. Hello everyone, this is Armin Haryan. Welcome back to our friends. If you are here for the first time, please join our community, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and also like this video to show your appreciation of Tesmanian, who has provided the background for this story. Tesla Battery Day will be one of the electric car companies' biggest events in 2020. Talk of Terra factories have been circulating as excitement for Battery Day becomes palpable in the Tesla community. As it rapidly approaches the Battery Day, two Tesla enthusiasts and YouTubers Hyperchange and The Limiting Factor got together to share their expectations and theories about Tesla Battery Day. Their ter first topic in the discussion is Terra Factories. By the way, I will have the link of that discussion in the description of this video and you can take a look. So the first topic is Tesla Terra Factories. The two Tesla enthusiasts didn't waste any time and immediately dived into the conversation about the company's potential Terra Factories in the future. Uh, quote, Tesla will reveal the machine that will allow them to scale to terawatt hours, fulfilling the promise to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. We can't do that unless you have factories that can crank out massive amounts of batteries. That's why I'm excited about it, replied um, the limiting factor to Hyperchange's question about his expect expectations for battery days. So the first expectations and the major expectations for the Tesla battery day, which we are expecting to happen in the third week of May, either in California or Texas, or maybe somewhere else, but those were the uh, day, uh, places that Tesla CEO Elon Musk uh, uh, mentioned in a tweet. So this, uh, this two, uh, the first expectation is that is the Terra factory for making uh, huge, massive amounts of batteries. During the quarter one 2020 earnings call, Zachary Kirkhorn said that Tesla Gigafactories were getting larger and would continue to do so because of the multiple products that company has planned. With similar products lines and vertical integration in one facility plus significant efficiencies, Tesla believes Gigafactory could grow in size over time, explained um, Kirkhorn in that uh, quarter one 2020 earnings call. It could start being called Terra, added Elon Musk. Terra factories could increase Tesla's battery capacity. Alleviating battery constraints would help the company expand the car production capacity, which will be essential for the Cybertruck and semis delivery dates looming. With the significance of battery capacity in mind, Hyperchange brought up the theory of Tesla making its own cells. He pondered the benefits Tesla would reap producing its own battery cells and probably even competing with Panasonic, a tried and tested battery manufacturer. I suspect that Tesla possibly has better engineering talent than Panasonic and they can do things that Panasonic wouldn't be able to do and do it better, said the limiting factor. He argued that Tesla would need more control over the battery manufacturing process to test and apply some of the technologies it has patented, gathered and learned. Panasonic, as a tried and tested battery manufacturer, manufacturer has developed a process over the years that it might not be willing to change completely, especially given the fact that Tesla isn't its only client. However, the limiting factor doesn't think that Tesla would break its relationship with Panasonic and its other battery partners, LG Chem and Cattle. Tesla's partners would likely continue to continue to, uh, to the Terra factory's output, he, he, he thought. Tesla will probably utilize the technologies it acquired from Maxwell and the ones from Jeff Dons has come up with to make its own battery cells. Hyperchange theorized that Fremont already has a pilot cell production line after he found three new job positions listed on 
Tesla's website. Freeman was looking for a cell engineer for cell physics, modeling as well as a production process engineer and controls engineer for Tesla's pilot line cell manufacturing. You know, Terra factories and Fremont's pilot cell production line are only a snippets of the news Tesla could announce on its battery day. With Tesla exploring battery cell manufacturing, the advent of the electric era, electric cars coming, where electric vehicles last a million miles and battery storage systems last for several decades, may be on the cusp of receiving a huge boost. So let me know, dear friends, what do you think? What do you think will be the major two or three announcements during the Tesla battery day? Terra Factory is one, okay? Tesla making its own batteries too. And I have a question for you. Maybe we can discuss this in the comment section below. Do you think Tesla will um, break with Panasonic or Tesla will still continue the relationship with Panasonic and LG Chem and, and Cattle. Let us know what you think in the comments, friends. And thank you so much for listening and watching. And, and this is Armin Haryan. And if you are here for the first time, please join our community, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell so you may be notified as we upload, se upload several stories on Tesla daily and automotive news. And also please like this video to show your appreciation of Tesmanian and all of our friends who help us to chronicle Tesla in this channel daily several times a day. In the meantime, have a wonderful rest of the day. Take good care of each other. Stay safe during this uncertain time and God bless you everyone. See you soon.